Liberal Viewer presents. So when the governor of Michigan encouraged people to give up meat for a day this weekend, I figured it wouldn't get favorable coverage on Fox News given that vegetarianism is sometimes seen as leftist and that giving up meat would be disfavored by big businesses like the cattle industry and our friends at Fox did not disappoint me, inviting on Michigan Farm Bureau President Wayne Wood for the interview that began with this clip. All right, Allison, lose the meat. Sorry to bring that up for you. The governor of Michigan declaring the day today a meat out, encouraging people to eat vegetarian for the day instead of meat. But many Michigan farmers have a beef with this plan. Wayne Wood is the president of the Michigan Farm Bureau as well as a dairy farmer. Welcome, Wayne. Well, welcome. And after they welcomed each other, our friends at Fox conducted a very pro-meat interview that you can see in full at tinyurl.com slash foxformeat including accepting actual misinformation from the guest, as you can see here. The USDA food pyramid recommends two to three servings of lean meat a day as part of a balanced nutrition diet. And then to have this come out uh, was really, really disturbing. Hmm, now, I'm no vegetarian, but I still know that even our pro-business government isn't going to recommend people eat two to three servings of meat every day. And sure enough, when I checked the FDA's food pyramid site, what I actually found about what to eat in the meat and beans category was a section about the importance of including fish, nuts, and seeds that specifically says, quote, Many people do not make very choices from this food group selecting meat or poultry every day as their main dishes. Varying choices and including fish, nuts, and seeds in meals can boost intake of monounsaturated fatty acids and polyunsaturated fatty acids. Most fat in the diet should come from MFUAs and PFUAs, unquote. So not only did Fox and Friends allow misinformation about meat to go unchallenged, but they actually promoted it, as you can see again in the entire segment at tinyurl.com slash foxformeat. But what may have been the biggest piece of bias in the interview was the way Fox and Friends co-host Allison Camerata encouraged Wayne Wood to speculate about the supposed evil influences on Michigan's Democratic governor, Jennifer Granholm, based on no discernible sources of information, as you can see in this clip. The question really is, where did this come from? Mm. And what's the answer? We feel it came from some groups that are anti-animal uh, agriculture and that it just slid Meaning through. Meaning PETA or something like of their ill. That's some of the groups, yeah. Uh, now, when I actually saw that interview live, I was pretty sure Mr. Wood, with a little help from Fox News anchor Allison Camerata there, actually said that PETA, which is People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, is anti-animal. Though, when re-watching the clip, I thought maybe despite the long pause, Wood might have been saying PETA is anti-animal agriculture. But in any case, the way the Fox News anchor filled in the blank to encourage Wayne Wood to speculate about the supposed evil influences on Michigan's Democratic governor based on no discernible sources of information seemed pretty biased. And although I've heard there's some Fox News memo claiming certain shows on Fox News aren't really news, that didn't stop the producer of Fox and Friends from accepting and airing the slogan sent in by a viewer one morning that you can see read by the brown-haired guy who's not Steve Ducey here. Delivering hard news without all the bias, we're Fox and Friends. Go on, try us. <laughs> so I actually do give Fox News opinion shows a little more leeway, which is why I almost never mention Sean Hannity or Glenn Beck in my videos, though I will sometimes point out Bill O'Reilly's hypocrisy for calling his show a no-spin zone, yet... I think a morning news show does still have some responsibility for fairness and accuracy, but I want to know what you think. Do morning news programs like Fox and Friends owe their viewers some fairness and accuracy in their presentation, or are they just irresponsible infotainment? And even if you lean in the infotainment direction, if a show classified as infotainment offers clearly inaccurate information, shouldn't we call it misinfotainment? I, YouTube, you decide.